All right, let's talk eclipse, shall we? Here in Duval, we will be seeing the moon covered about 70% of the sun this afternoon is set to happen. But for those hoping to see totality, you've got to take a road trip. And time is running out <laughs> if you haven't already decided to do that. But that's exactly what meteorologist Robert Spetta decided to do. He joins us live this morning from Western New York. Hey, Robert, a little cold up there, but how excited are you for today? I am excited. I think the, the excitement's keeping me warm right now. There's actually a frost on the ground around me, believe it or not. It's uh, one reason why, you know, we, I love it in, uh, in Florida. But I can tell you, out here, people are getting excited. I'm in a very small town, but already a surge of people coming in. And uh, the weather's beautiful right now. We got a little bit of cloud cover. But here at Totality, there's going to be solid three minutes where we can take off our eclipse viewing glasses and actually see, look directly at the sun with the naked eye. But in Jacksonville, as you mentioned, 70 percent coverage. Um, there will be no point uh, where you can take off your glasses. And I can't stress this enough. Don't look at the sun. Don't look directly at the sun. Don't look directly at the sun. We, we, we say it over and over again. But uh, some things I want you to keep in mind, maybe uh, some ways you can view the eclipse there with if without solar viewing classes, some creative ways. Uh, this one is my favorite right here. Uh, it says FCN. You can take a hole punch and put it in a piece of paper. And if you hold it, in fact, I got some video here. When you hold it over um, top of a clear surface, you'll actually be able to see uh, the reverse of the solar eclipse on the ground. It'll be kind of a, a shadow there. And this is because uh, sun rays, they typically go through circles directly. But as the moon covers up the sun, it actually will uh, get rid of some of those sun rays. So believe it or not, you'll be able to watch the eclipse through a little tiny circle. And you can write your name in one of these like little hole punch cards or uh, I wrote FCN, things like that. And it's a good way to remember the eclipse. Now, there's another thing you can do. Monitor the temperature. There in Jacksonville, there shouldn't be too too much of a significant change, but closer you get to totality and inside totality, there typically is a notable temperature drop. Just like the sun setting, it'll be that case across the path. So I think that's a really cool thing. I'll be plotting the temperature uh, here in my area, watching it kind of dip down. And lastly, another thing I want to show you is um, if you are taking photos of the eclipse. Of course, they're in Jacksonville as well and all across the country. Looking through a telescope, looking through binoculars, especially looking through a telescope, have a solar filter on it, please. One of the worst things you can do is look at a zoomed in shot of the sun directly with your naked eye. It is going to hurt. I have one right here. In fact, I'm going to be using it to uh, cover up um, this camera, which I'll be live streaming on our streaming platforms during the eclipse here uh, as well. So very excited. I think one of the best things out of this, though, is just kind of educating people on the eclipse. I'll be here. We got about 50 people showing up from this small town, and uh, we're just going to be doing a bunch of science experiments, kind of uh, exploring how the universe is bigger than us, and the eclipse is one of the best ways uh, to do that, Keith and Katie. You know, so what, cool. Robert, I'm so excited for you more so than anyone else. You've been talking about this for quite some time. We have our glasses. We're ready to go. But I, I do want to say this just so folks know about about a little bit about Robert Spetta. So he is so excited about this. He's actually supposed to be on vacation, guys. It's supposed to be his break. But he said, no, I'm going to be out here. I'm bringing a camera. I'm going to do what you guys need us to do. <laughs> so thank you for waking up with us this morning and bringing us this, this bringing us into your world. We're really excited for you, buddy. Hey. Uh, I, I love it, and this is my type of vacation here. Mm -hmm. It is an absolute um, fun time out here. I think just getting people excited about science, and that's mm. the case here. I'll tell you this much, though. I am in the middle of nowhere, just more of a local view. Places like Niagara Falls, millions of people are going to be there. So I won't be headed there, but it just shows how everybody across the country is just excited about this. Um, so thanks, Keith. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. That is so awesome, Robert. We can't wait to see how these experiments turn out as well. And here in Jacksonville, it looks like at least we'll have some good visibility because last time in 2017, visibility was not so great. Let's check in with meteorologist Lauren Rottencrantz here. Hey.